Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Now I haven't done a book review in a couple weeks, so I figured I was about due. And I've had this one sitting on my shelf for a couple of years now. I've been meaning to get around to it. This one is by Ted Leeson and Jim Schollmeyer. It's their Benchside Introduction to Fly Tying. So a little about this book. Published in 2006, it's just uh, under 200 pages. It's got a little over 100 flies in it. It's spiral bound, so uh, it will lay flat on your bench. Now it is a bit pricey at $45, but let's go through the book and you can make the assessment if you think it's worth it. So first off, it's really a pretty high quality book, good quality paper, nice pictures. The table of contents is really just pictures of the flies and it tells you where they are on here. So the first 50 or so flies, you start with nymphs, go to wet flies, streamers, emergers, then some dry flies and terrestrials. And then you've got 50 more flies down here, which they call additional patterns. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. The first 50 flies, they have very detailed instructions on how to do all of these. But before we get into that, let's talk about the other introductory material, the first 24 pages of it. You've got uh, explanations on some of the tools and talking about vices and hackle pliers, hair stackers, and, and just a basic primer on a lot of the fly tying tools. Then we start getting into the materials. He talks a little bit about the hooks and the thread and synthetics versus naturals. A couple pages on dubbing basics, how to mix it, how to put it on. Then we go into the feathers. Talks about the different types of feathers, you know, duck and then uh, saddle hackle, hen versus rooster. So after the first 24 pages of, you know, an introduction to the tools and materials, that's where the book really gets interesting. So the pages after this are split into two. And let me show you what we've got on the top right here. So let's just randomly flip to one right here. Okay, black stonefly nymph on this first page. So you've got a picture of the fly, you've got the recipe, a little bit maybe about the history or who created it, and then you've got you know seven or eight steps for how to tie this fly. And if you're a fairly experienced tire, yeah, you can probably follow all these steps, no problem. But if you're a new tire or you just need a refresher, each one of these steps, this is what I really like about the book, each one of these steps has more detailed steps down below. So let's explain that for a second. Okay, say this step right here, step four, flat strip wing case method. Okay, you can probably tell what's going on just by this one picture, but if you want a little bit more detailed instruction, it says go to page 122 down below. So let's flip to 122. So now right here, we've got six more steps on how to do a flat strip wing case. And the same thing for all of these. If, if there's further instruction on how to do it, it tells you where to go down below. So right, like this step right here, how to direct dub a body. Uh, this step right here, you know, a folded strip wing case. Um, side lashed rubber legs, all these have more detailed steps below. So let's flip to another one up here. Okay, winged wet fly. So lots of steps right here to tell you how to do this, but if you want to, you know, learn a little bit more involved about, okay, a peacock quill body, go to steps down here on page 98. Or a how do you do throat hackle legs? Well, steps down here on page 176. So you've got all these steps right here. The first 50 flies are up on the, the top with some pretty detailed steps, and most people can tie the fly just with these steps, but if you need a refresher about some of the more advanced techniques, you can get them down below. So the first 50 flies have all the detailed steps, and then the last 50 or so flies, it is really just a picture, a couple of pictures of the fly, and then the recipe, and then some notes right here that say, hey, these steps are down here. So the first 50 are very detailed. The next 50 are more of a pattern index or an encyclopedia. Well, now let's talk about some of the, the techniques they have down here. They're not all very basic and beginner techniques. A lot of them are, but there are a lot of them that, um, you know, are some fairly advanced techniques. You know, okay, here's how you do loop dubbing right here. Let's just go through some of these randomly here. How do you do a flat mylar body? There's a folded strip wing case we just mentioned. How do you do a collar hackle? That's a pretty basic step that most any fly tire has learned or needs to know. So it's got a lot of the basic techniques that any tire needs to know, but it also goes into some fairly advanced ones with spinning uh, dubbing loop or spinning deer hair. So my overall assessment of this book, it's really a solid book. It, it's got some 
great tips and techniques that any new tire would be smart to learn, and some good tips for tires who've been tying, you know, five years, maybe even longer. But I would really say the audience of this book is a brand new tire to someone who's been tying for, I'd say, less than five years. But it's not to say that a veteran tire out there won't find, you know, some tips in here that are going to help them. Okay, now, do I recommend this book? Well, it's still a bit pricey at $45. Now, it's a great book, don't get me wrong, but for $45, you could pick up both Dave Hughes' Essential Trout Flies and Peter Gathercole's Fly Tying for Beginners. So, would I recommend this if you're a brand new tire and don't have any books in your library? Eh, probably not. It's not a bad one to have, but I would probably spend the money on picking up a couple of other books first. Now, if you've been tying for a few years and, you know, are just working on building up your library, yeah, it's a great one to have. Add it to it if you've got $45 to spend. So that's it. In a nutshell, my recommendation, it's a good book, still a little bit pricey. All right, for you guys who are familiar with this channel, you know I like to give books away after I do a review. So I've got one copy of this I'm going to be giving away. I'm going to be uh, doing a drawing tomorrow night, which will be Sunday, February 15th, about 10 o'clock Eastern time. So if you're interested in winning a copy of this book, just leave a comment with the hashtag Humpy. H-U-M-P-Y. That's, that's the, the fly that's on the cover here. So kind of appropriate. So that's it, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.